beautiful people, perverts, and fucking haters. It's Candy, and today we're going to make, are you ready for this? Pumpkin cheesecake. I wanted to get this out before Thanksgiving, just in case somebody wanted to make it, but that's not gonna happen, so enjoy this after Thanksgiving recipe. So it's a quite simple recipe. I don't actually even remember where I got it. I've been making this for so many years, but it's a quite, to me, easy recipe. And it's just a little time consuming, and cheesecake always is like stressful for whatever reason, because it could crack or whatever, but girl, I don't worry about perfection because it's just for me and Pete. And even if it wasn't, girl, life and shit is not perfect, so don't stress all that shit. I've done all the bullshit. I've done the water bath with the cheesecakes. I've left the door open. I've done all the tricks. Shit still happens. So just go with your gut. Do it to make your fucking tummy yummy yummy, and don't stress the bullshit, girl. So this is what you're going to need. For the crust, you're going to need one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Now I'm going to make my own graham cracker crumbs with the cinnamon graham cracker because I figured the cinnamon graham cracker crust could go so good. So I'm going to actually crumble up and make my own graham cracker crumbs. You're going to use some sugar and butter to make your crust. Then you're going to need some canned pumpkin, some, I use pumpkin pie spice, which has got all the spices mixed in you need, some vanilla or imitation vanilla, whatever you choose. I prefer the imitation. I know, don't harp on me because people do. A uh, spring form pan. If you don't know what a spring form pan is, here, let me show you, girl, because, girl, let me tell you, if you do not use a spring form pan for something like this, you're never going to get this shit out of your pan. So make sure you use a spring form pan. If you don't know what that is, because some people don't know what it is. If you don't know what it is, it's a pan that whenever you open here, you'll be able to just take it out and it'll be on here and you just cut it and serve it this way. So make sure you have something like that. Because, bitch, I almost, I almost dropped my eggs. Because if you don't, if you're not going to be able to cut it, you're just not going to be able to cut it out. I always wondered when I was younger how people got that out. And then after I got older, I was like, oh, it's a spring form band, girl. Sometimes getting them back together is a pain in the ass, but once you do, it's you're just gonna pour it in there. I used to always be afraid to like pour out the bottom here. Sometimes a little drip or two will come through, but girl, it's okay. Make sure you use a spring form pan. That's just, I'm, I'm going, I mean, that is like the major ingredient here. You're also going to need three of these cream cheese. What are they? How many ounces? Eight ounces of cream cheese. So three of them. I use Philadelphia. These are actually been sitting, these have been sitting out today to soften. And then you're going to need some butter. And I have it softened, but you're not going to need it soften because it's really just for the crust. So let's get popping with this crust, girl. Oh, and I almost forgot. Definitely have your Starbucks because you know, girl, you're doing this the night before Thanksgiving, right? Mm-hmm. Me too, girl. Me too. If you don't already know or you don't already have these, these two gadgets right here are your everything in the kitchen. I'm just saying I don't even cook that much and I could not even do it without these two beautiful babies. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees because we're going to bake the crust First, we need one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Girl, I'm not sitting there pulling on that. I've learned in my old age, girl, with my hands, not to sit and fucking pull and tug, honey. I just use some scissors, girl. Oh, look, they've already made them crumbs for me. That's nice. So, I don't know how much of this is gonna make one and a half cups. So, girl, we're just gonna start putting some shit in here and grinding. You might wanna plug it in first. That might help you out, so make sure you do that, girl. Okay, turn the power on and have Look at that. Alrighty, girl. That's gonna be one, are you, are you even serious? It is one and a half cups exactly, girl? Who's a genius here? All right, guys, next you're gonna take five tablespoons of butter. So just kind of two, four, five-ish, five-ish. Five tablespoons of butter. I don't want to be too much though, so let's get it right. We are making something important. Three, four, yes, it's five. Okay, five tablespoons of butter. This is a little bit melted because I put it out. Well, it's a little bit soft, but oh. but um, we're going to melt it in the microwave to add with our graham cracker crumbs. 
so that we can make the crust. Okay, y'all, I had to actually um, do a little bit more of the graham crackers because when I went to like level it out, it was actually a little bit less than one and a half. So I'm just gonna measure it out of here. So we're gonna need one and a half cups. So let's just get us one and a half cups. I know it's gonna be a little bit more than one and a half, but I'm, it's, I'm not gonna use this. This. So there's our one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. And we need a tablespoon of white sugar. So we're gonna get that one tablespoon of white sugar to sweeten up that graham cracker crust. And then we're going to add the butter to that and mix it up. Now you don't want it to get like sludgy or like pasty. So you want to mix it like nice and even and make sure that it's all kind of like coated in there. Guys, I just noticed that um, I usually don't mix it in here. I don't know why I was going to do that this time, but look, if you notice, you won't be able to mix it all because it'll get down the crack. So make sure you mix it in like a bowl first, which is what I'm going to do now. Hopefully I don't lose a bunch of it on the counter because I was impatient. See all that wouldn't have mixed in there. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that on the edge of your cheesecake. Okay, so now that I transfer that to the bowl, I'm just gonna mix up the sugar in the graham crackers just a little bit because that way it's evenly distributed, which I mean, by the time we've mixed it all around anyhow between pans and bowls and shit, I'm sure it already is. And then we're going to add the melted butter to it. And like I said, we don't want it to get, you just wanna drizzle it in there. I drizzle a little bit first and then mix that up. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit more in there, mix it up, because I don't want it to get like super muddy anywhere. Do you know what I mean by that? If I say muddy, like tasty almost, you definitely don't want that. Okay, the rest of the butter. Mix that in. Oh, sorry, my camera. I still have a hard time with camera in the, um, the cooking, guys, because it's like I can't seem to get both like the counter and my face in it. So it's always like a little bit awkward, but Oh my goodness, some of it just went out onto the counter. Charlie is about to have a headache because some just went in the floor. Girl, don't make that mistake. Okay, and then when it's all nice and moist, we're going to press it into this pan. Okay, so let's just put it into your pan and press it in there. If you see any chunks or anything, just kind of make sure they're wet. So pour this in there. Pete doesn't like a lot of crust, which also they say that the crust won't go all the way to the top. They say to do this down here and then to like pat it up the sides and you don't want it to actually, you want the cheesecake to go like past the crust. So don't worry, your crust won't go all the way to the top and that's fine guys. And if you want less crust, you can just put less in it. I may not even use this whole thing, we'll see. And if you want more, you could actually even make more if you wanted. Okay guys, so once you get your crust in there, use as much as you want. I'm actually only not even using the whole thing at all. I just feel like this is plenty. If I used more, it would probably go up to about right here, which is typically where most cheesecakes actually do. I just know that we like a little less of that. So, and I'll use a little bit to garnish the top probably. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go put this in the oven now. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven guys and then we're going to bake it for five minutes okay so after five minutes you're gonna want to take this out of the oven oh hold on this is why well, there we go all right and that way you've got your crust already browned and cooked toasted whatever you want to call it let it cool down a little bit you can actually put this in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours if you want to make your crust like a day ahead okay y'all now for the best part the filling i love the filling so we're going to add one cup so let's even that out of sugar to our KitchenAid mixing bowl or whatever mixing bowl you're choosing to use this evening. And then the cream cheese. I like this cream cheese because first of all, um, Philadelphia cream cheese is always the best, isn't it girl? And I like these containers because, or these little wrappers or whatever you call them, because all you have to do is literally, some people cut these. I'm like, girl, don't cut it. Look, all you gotta do is this. And I got weak ass hands and fingers, girl. And you just like open it up. I hope you guys can see, sorry. 
and um, it goes in really easy like that. And then I like this one because, oh, I don't know if I can show you the counter or not. Let's see, because I can, to get like anything off of here, this one doesn't have a whole lot on it, but let's see. I'm just gonna have to do it this way and then show you guys. So I just take my spatula and just scoop it on there, right? Like, I'm sorry, I couldn't really show you that, but like, I just scrape it on there. I use my hand because that's what we do when we bake. Everybody acts like they don't, but we do, girl. And put it in the KitchenAid. And we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla to this mixture. Put your attachment of your choice on. I like this whipping one for, or whisk, I guess, more for this. Lock it and load, girl. Mix that up. Now, you don't want to, you want to get the lumps out right, but you don't want to like over mix this. If you over mix it, it'll be too, I don't know, like liquidy. So, you don't want to over, over mix this, girl, because we're also going to add a few other things to it. So, don't over mix, but let's get the lumps out. And you'll probably have to, you know, stir it because stuff gets whoop, on the side, almost went on the on the bottom there. Sometimes that happens. I hate that actually when that happens. So you just want to mix that up real good. I always do it in the middle once, sometimes twice. All right. Okay. Couple, about another minute, I would say, maybe not even probably. Alright, so it's pretty much mixed, all smooth and creamy is what you want to make it, like so y'all, to have all of the lumps out, which is also good to have your cream cheese softened, you know? Now guys, we're going to add the rest of everything to this mix, which is going to be one cup of canned pumpkin. You can make the pumpkin yourself if you want to, just make sure it's really mushy or whatever, but I've always used canned pumpkin. Libby's was one that my grandparents and parents used as a kid. Um, I usually use an organic Amy's one, but I couldn't find it this year. So we went with the Libby's. We're going to do two teaspoons. I would usually put it in there, but it's wet. So, oh, this is gonna be hard. You should not do it this way. Don't do it this way. Well, I already started. So anyhow, I was gonna say, let's do it correctly, but here's one teaspoon. You know what, girl? Okay, after this, I promise the second one, we're not going to do this way because it's going to take too damn long, girl. Don't ever do it that way. I don't know what possessed me to be lazy. Sometimes we're lazy, girl. You know what's going to happen? The whole damn thing is going to fall in there, right, girl? Okay, there's one teaspoon of um, pumpkin pie spice is what I'm using. Hey, girl, I got a half a teaspoon, so we're just going to do two of those. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Hell, it's not much better with that, to be honest with you. Okay, so about two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You can, in the original recipe, which I will put on here, um, you can use nutmeg or there's a few different spices you can use. I just put it all together, pumpkin pie spice, because that's easy for me. And our three eggs. Oh, look, it did crack. Remember when I said, oh, I thought I cracked the egg? Oh, my God. Any of y'all that know me know I hate to touch that oh it's rough for me tonight especially it's okay we got this make sure you use large eggs guys um i used to always just use whatever egg i had and the amount of egg and stuff especially when you bake stuff is very very important you can put just just going from a regular large egg to a jumbo egg can make all the difference so always in a recipe when they call for egg they always call for a large egg so we're going to put everything in there together and now mix that baby up sorry mama had to go wash her hands and get that off so lock in probably not that high girl Okay, we're going to scrape the sides because, like I said, always once or twice, three times a lady, you're going to have to scrape the sides. Anybody know that song? I mean, the scrape the sides isn't part of the song, you know. And back to mixing. Okay, so my crust is cooled off and usually guys you put the crust about two-thirds of the way up oh, you probably would show you back here two-thirds of the way up but i opted for less crust this time and um you're just gonna pour your mixture into this crust all right just lightly pour it evenly around 
Oh my God, it smells so good already, y'all. Like what, girl? I wish I could remember where I got this recipe. I don't know, I've had it for so long now though. But it's like a um, dupe, you know what I mean? It's like a Cheesecake Factory dupe recipe. And I just kind of edited it a little bit for how I make it. I've been making it now for probably, I would say, probably eight or nine years now. Okay, and just make sure that it's nice and even. It'll pretty much even out. I used to take and like drop a, a pan, a, like a cake pan I will, to like level it out, but you don't wanna do that with the spring form band, guys, because then you will have some shit coming out the bottom and it could, yeah, you just don't wanna do that with the spring form or even really tap much on it, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna like take this like this. I know a lot of people think it's gross. I don't really fucking care. This is my house and, um, my fingers and my germs. Okay guys, so still at 350 degrees, you're gonna put this in your oven. Real carefully, <laughs> real carefully. There we go in the center, make sure you put it in the center of the oven. And we're gonna set our timer for 60 minutes, but you're gonna cook it between 60 and 70 minutes. I'm just gonna put it on 60 so that I can come and check it at 60. Okay guys, time to check on it. Oh, it looks really good. It probably needs to be in for about, I would say, five more minutes or so. You can usually tell, I can put a toothpick in it, but I can kind of feel that it needs to just have a couple more minutes in there. And what I'm also gonna do, I've only got one hand right now, so what I'm gonna also do is like sprinkle a little bit of this on top, just because I had some extra and I actually did something really cool with the rest of the um, graham cracker crumb mix so you'll have to watch my vlog on the 22nd to see what I did. All right so I put some crumbs on top and back in the oven for another five minutes. Okay I'm pretty sure it's done. I put it in for another two minutes because when I checked after five it could use another minute or two so I'm going to use another toothpick and just check it right here in the middle to make sure it comes out clean pretty clean i mean it's gonna be cheese you know it's cheesecake so yeah it's clean so it's done it took what 67 minutes today guys okay so let's pull it out of the oven oh it's nice and brown and pretty and then over on to the counter over there on the other side because I didn't put my thing down over here to cool off. Oh guys, it looks so, 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 so good. That little crumb on top is gonna look cute. It'll fall down, it does, it's already, if you see it's already doing that and it'll probably crack some. I can already see it's gonna crack. I think I might have left it in a minute too long while I was fucking around, but it's all right, it'll be okay. I would rather it be, I think it'll be okay, I'm just like, I'm overcritical, as I said in the beginning we shouldn't be, but I feel it's going to crack in several places. What can a bitch do, you know? Okay guys, be sure to let it cool all the way before you put it in the refrigerator. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator tonight, so I will come back before I put it in the refrigerator to show you what it looks before I put it in the refrigerator, and then I'll come back tomorrow with a taste test. Okay guys, it's cooled off now enough, pretty much to where I can just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. It actually turned out not um, as done as I thought and it didn't crack actually there. I did here in a little bit in the middle but didn't on the sides like I thought. So I'm pretty excited about that but I think it looks great. It smells really, really good. Um, I am just gonna put it in this container that I have. I love this container. It's actually a cupcake slash deviled egg container with little inserts but it's perfect for this for me so I can keep it covered and we are going to refrigerate for 24 hours. Well, not 24 hours. We'll probably eat it around noon tomorrow. So probably about 12 hours or so. And um, we will taste test it for you tomorrow. Okay, y'all. So actually, it's been closer to 48 hours because yesterday was Thanksgiving and we ate so much that we didn't even feel like eating cheesecake. So... It is the day after Thanksgiving now, and we are going to cut this and dig in. All right, guys, so all you do is your springform pan has this little spring on it. Just slowly open it. Sometimes you have to be careful, it'll pull from the sides. If it does, tough shit, there's not really much you can do, to be honest. It's just the way it is. 
This one pulled pretty clean, actually. Yay, that's so, so good. So you have a really nice, pretty cheesecake all the way around. That looks so nice, doesn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that's probably the prettiest one I've ever made like that. And I thought it was gonna crack really bad, but it didn't. That's really pretty, yay. Okay, guys, so let's cut into this. I don't have a proper fork, spoon, knife, whatever. I don't know why I don't, but I don't. So before somebody says some shit, just don't. Oh my goodness, I got it. Look at that <laughs> in there. I'm gonna wash this off so that we don't muddy it up. I'm gonna actually eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, guys, if you put your knife in hot water, oh, I don't wanna get any paper towel on that, in hot water beforehand, it'll cut it easier, but you know, it just, babe, how big of a piece do you want? This? Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'll put this on the side instead of washing it off again. Just us, doesn't have to be perfect, even though it's pretty fucking perfect, right? Get into that. Damn, that's a thick ass cheesecake. All sorts of thick bodied girl. One more piece. All right. Okay, and we'll put a little bit of cool whip. Cool whip, who knows that reference? On here, that's a little bit, right? Bitch, I'm into that cool whip. How much do you want, babe? Like this? You can do like... Double that? Like triple that. Like triple that? <laughs> More? A little bit. <laughs> like that? Yeah, that's good right They're there. They're all gonna be like, Pete loves the whipped cream. They love when they, or cool whip. They're always, they always love to be like, Pete loves his cheese. And cool whip's like second to cheese, man. Okay guys, we're gonna try it now. It took a hot ass minute to figure out how the fuck to do this because the camera, he is so tall, girl, y'all don't even know. Girl, it wouldn't work in the other way. So let's give this a shot. That's really good, isn't it good? It's so good. So did you get a little bit of cheesecake to go with your whipped cream? A little bit, yeah. I had to like dunk it in there. I like the thinner crust, do you? Pretty good. Pretty good, guys. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you make it sometime. I don't make it just at like Thanksgiving or holiday. Sometimes I just make it to make it very rarely, but I do every once in a while. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next time, be nice to each other because remember, nobody likes a, a fucking, fucking asshole. asshole. Bye guys.